see this fence post? That's got to be about two feet of concrete in the ground. Here's my hand for scale. And uh, I pulled that right out of the ground, no effort. Let me show you my technique. Over here we got uh, what is possibly a fence post from hell. Uh, you see I did a little digging to find the concrete base and for some reason they poured a extremely wide base here. It's not the typical post hole. It's, uh, I don't know, it's got to be a foot across. I can only hope that it's not very deep. Anyway, I dug down a little bit below it just to find the perimeter of it and I ran the garden hose, just trickled some water in, got it a little wet and muddy. That'll help lubricate everything. And uh, and uh, this post broke off right here, and they filled it partway with concrete. So uh, normally I use a metal drill to uh, drill a cross hole like this one. And in this case, I used a, a concrete drill. It cut through the metal, okay. And then just ran this uh, piece of rod through. This is actually an old wheelbarrow axle, but you know whatever you got is handy. Put some chain on it, and then we're going to my engine hoist here. I've got it set on the strongest setting, uh, two ton, in close. Uh, I've used it at the uh, one ton extension if I just needed to work with a fence post that was all the way out here, like the one that was up against the house over there, where that rake now sits. And it worked fine, but for this one I'm going to give it all the leverage I can. Let's see if this works. coming right out. Got to set it down because I'm bumping up against the legs. I'm bumping up against the legs so I'm setting it back down and I'll roll the hoist back and then just lift it now.
yeah, that sure beats using a shovel.